What up, people? Sweet Greeks. Never not. The Federal Appeal Court deemed that the Second Amendment now justifies open carry. That said, what would that mean for the law abiding citizen? What would that mean for the law abiding citizen as well as the derelict? And lastly, would an armed environment be a peaceful environment? Really, would it be? I'm just, I'm, I, I'm, I'm asking for a friend. Read through my comments. The Bureau wrote that I go to Sasua and have timeshares because they got poor women there in the third world country. Just because they're poor and I have timeshares, they give me time. No, I have a timeshare because I'm in an investment group that invests in timeshares. We have a timeshare in Sasu. But he brought a thought back that I had in my mind about going to other places. He also asked, why not Germany or the Netherlands or Venezuela? Well, for a German in the Netherlands, I'll go. But when I cross that, that ocean, I think I owe it to myself as a... Uh, being of African descent to go see where I came from, like Ghana or Kampala, or go to a place that I would come to know as my heaven. I figured it would be my heaven, especially if all the angels look like me. But Germany, maybe. Netherlands, yeah, I could consider going there. But I gotta go to Africa first. That, that, that has always been a thought process for me to if I was ever to go that route. Yeah, a lot of people like going to Manila and Philippines and all that. If I go that route to the Far East, I'm going to, to like Ghana or Kampala or somewhere. But Africa first. But Africa is far off right now. Because as much as I want to go to Africa, that plane ticket to Africa is food. But Venezuela? That had always been in the back of my mind. But checking on Venezuela, Venezuela got money problems, yes. But the American dollar goes very far in Venezuela right about now. But if they got money problems, how the fuck you going to change your money? See, they got their money problems so bad, they over there making soccer balls and shit out of their money. What else is on the list? Chile, Ecuador, Paraguay, yeah, Panama, Barbados, Chile, Peru. I mean, Barbados, I was talking to somebody from Barbados. I always wanted to go check out the carnival. Shout out to BKG. Brother tell me they follow you from the airport. Uh, fuck that. So, gotta take Barbados on the list right now. That mean you with what? Ecuador, Chile, Peru, mm. lots of earthquakes, and motherfuckers stuck in cage. But I ain't really seen no problem, no crime. So those places I probably would go, I probably would won't go by myself. Panama, I think I'm gonna end up going there regardless. So I gotta say yeah to Panama. Paraguay, yeah. I don't know how far the dollar stretched there, but for those people who don't have visas, it's kind of like a precursor to Brazil if you haven't been there either. Those are, spot, those are two spots that I probably go by myself or with a group. But, or as far as taking a trip to places off the beaten path, what about a group trip to Chile or Peru? Let's find a new spot to vacate to. Let's make up a new spot for a beach party. But today, brother, I don't know if you're just a viewer or a subscriber, but thanks for that. But to everybody else, uh, let's find a new place for brothers to put on the map. Put your comments in the comment sections, and I'll speak on it. Till then, this is Drees. Jedi.